Hello and welcome! I am Gary and Reaver and these are my first impressions of Satisfactory. This is an early access game and it is, from what I can tell, essentially 3D Factorio. There have been a few Factorio-esque games that have come out lately and this is one of them. I got it from Keymailer. Ooh. I appear to be in a chair. In space. I wonder how many times I've done atmospheric entry in games. Subnautica, Minecraft, 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 Subnautica again. It's got to be more than just those two, surely. Ooh, look, a lush green grassland. Because at the beginning I could choose between three areas that seem to be kind of balanced. Oh, there's a thing. Oh yes, that reminds me. <laughs> During the settings, I was scouting the settings. There is an arachnophobia mode option. And that's always worrying. You know, like saying, hey, uh, you're not deathly allergic to peanuts, are you? Um, yes? Oh, um, well, I'm glad you told me. You know, it's just worrying, isn't it? Well, this is quite pretty. Not very pretty, quite pretty. It, it's one of those ones where the individual textures aren't much, but it has a nice effect overall. I am Ada, also known as Ada, not to be confused with Impa. I'm going to call you a mega Elcor. Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. Ooh, nice. Uh, Xeno Zapper. Standard issue electroshock self defense weapon for melee range. It's an insect taser. I'm so sorry I can pick this up. Familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Whoop. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered is that me essential jumping? in preparation for all future was. objectives. I'm using a new keyboard and it's considerably more sensitive than I'm used to, so if I make weird movements that's why. Oh, C to scan. Oh, there's a thing over here. Oh. Oh. Oh, I guess that's in that direction, right on the uh, the radar. Hang on, let's go. Have a oh my god! Okay, rhino tigers. Oof, you bastard! Ow! That's one dead. Where'd he go? Studying the remains of this creature there he is. shed light on how to defend Ow. yourself in the future. I recommend Ow. analysis. <laughs> Toro! Toro! Ha <laughs> ha! Alien carapace. I can't seem to ac access any more of it. Maybe I need like technology or something. Sorry, yes. Now that I've murdered a couple of things, let's go scouting. Ooh. Are they more Toros? I think they are. Hey, Toro, Toro! Ooh. Ooh, iron. Zap! Zap you, Toro! <laughs> he doesn't like it. Yes! I'm pro Toro Zapper. That is, that is my name. Pro is my first name, Tara Zappa is my surname. The hub. The heart of your factory, this is where you complete fix-it milestones to unlock additional blueprints of buildings, vehicles, parts, equipment. Ooh, well, I don't know which way it's supposed to face, so I'll just put it there. Uh, okay. Craft bench. Uh, select recipe on the left, iron ingot. Craft. What I'm, I'm not really configuring. It says configure. I'm, there's no configuration here. It's just sort of using it. Upgrade the hub. Uh. Uh. So the way this works is there are tiers, and I saw in the uh, early access thing. Only the first six tiers are available, so presumably including zero. Maybe it was one through six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it could be up to seven now if that's there as well. All right. Uh, milestone cost: ten iron rod. 
Oh, I see. You have to hold it down. That's interesting. Well, they're a lot quicker. Okay. So, upgrade one. Uh, yes. Oh, I have to drag him in. Upgrade. Boom. Magic. New buildings, new equipment, new parts, new scannable resources. Congratulations. Hold C to select what to scan for. Copper, I guess. Uh, there's copper over there. Gotcha. Ooh. Flying Manta. Uh, builds an equipment workshop and craft a portable miner. Equip it and place it on a resource node. Okay. Ah, here we are. Equipment workshop. Uh, six plates and six rods. Equipment workshop. This I will place, I guess, right here. Boom. Job done. Uh, craft portable miner. That requires... What's that? Eight plates, eight... Uh, sorry, four plates, eight wire, and four cable. Copper should be right around here. Oh, floating rocks. Copper. Oh no, another bloody Toro. You pale before me, Toro. Next question. Is there fall damage? There is, yes. But not a lot. Now I can not quite make a minor. Now I can make a minor with that. Oh, I can just just craft that. Okay. Uh, special power. No. Oh, right. It'll be in my inventory. So let's see. Like that. Hi. I'm going to call you... Derrickson. Son of Derrick. Yeah, Derrickson. Good work. Very nice. Keep it up, Derrickson. You're a credit to the force. A smelter needs five rods and eight wire. Smelter. Uh, oh, this has an in and an out by the look of it. Uh, I'm going to guess that my space management is going to be abysmal to begin with, as it always is in these things, but let's stick it there. Okay. So now I climb in... Sorry, I keep jumping. I climb in here. I see. Right, so that will automatically smelt iron for me. Can I climb this? Oh, I can. Uh, the gravity is a little bit floaty. Alright, power, power, biomass. Uh, can I put like a load of leaves in there? I can. Well, that's now burning things. I'm burning this world and I'm drilling this world. This is this is technology. This is progress right here. There. Okay, that's in there, but I need to power it. Uh I think I saw a power line. I need cable, which I do not have. Oh, I already have cable. Boom. A nice, not at all dangerous wire. And that's producing iron. Fantastic. Uh, complete hub upgrade two. So what do I need for that? Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to need a load more wire. Select milestone. The interface is kind of cool. It looks like an actual sort of machine with a little key there and the vents and the rivets. And a switch. Oh, that's cool. How do I get this out? Ah. 
Now if I make a second portable miner, I can then pop this up to the copper area and then that'll mine Oh, it says the current Oh yeah, cuz I placed uh, I placed a milestone. So now it tracks it in the top right telling me what I need. Derrickson the second. Good boy, look at you drilling that copper. Yeah, you want to be just like your big brother, don't you? Go on. Yeah. Pure. What's the difference? Oh. I get six from that one, whereas I get... Sorry, I keep jumping. Whereas I get two from that. Hello, Mega Elcor. What are you up to? Hmm. I assume there are some sort of spider monsters in this, and that's why it was like, maybe they live over there in that spider-shaped house. Maybe that's why they were like, hey, are you arachnophobic? And I said, yes, yes, I definitely am. Good to know. Oh no, I don't have my zappy tool. Hang on a sec. Ow! You prick. Stick the light on. Yeah. You little prick. Catch me when I don't have my zappy tool. I don't know how to put stuff on that hotbar at the bottom. I kind of want to put this on my hotbar, but I don't know how. I've got to say that the uh, progression seems nice and efficient. So now that I've got that smelter, I can sort of swap it between copper and iron to smelt up a load of whatever ingots I have, uh, whatever ores I have. And then I just go grab it and then pop back over here and craft stuff with it. So now I can get this second HUD upgrade. Uh, that one, and that one, and that one. Upgrade HUD. Boom! Ah, oh, nice. I've got a house. Congratulations. Thank you. Note. What is that? What is this? Glowium. What is it? Green power slug. That's a little bit disgusting, but it's mine. I now own a green power slug. Semi slug. From its crystalline shell. Further analysis of crystals required to determine application. Okie dokie. Well, it's mine now. Whatever I use it for is mine. Let, let everyone know, if Toro comes around, tell him it's mine. And then tell me where he is so I can zap him. Oh, I see, so the hotbar is automatically filling up with stuff, so like, that's a power pole. I see. Build constructors to automate production of simple parts. Build power poles to extend your power grid. Expand your production to upgrade faster. Hub upgrade 3 requires iron plates, cable, concrete and re reinforced iron plates. It's quite cool the way it shows you exactly what you're unlocking. Well, it looks like it gets complicated here with, like, building stuff. Oh, you've stopped working, Derrickson. You're full. So you can only hold a hundred at a time, and the smelter can only smelt a hundred at a time. Oops. I need to switch that back to iron and dump that in. Okay. I understand. I've got a new portable miner. And now I need to find some limestone. Closest one is right over there. Is this it? It is. That's impure. Ah, it looks like it's all impure. Alright. Derrickson the third. I'm sorry, you're impure. You're not really part of the family. Uh, but your mother and I did get along very well. Uh, don't let your half-brothers get you down. Caution area under construction. Nice. Ah, here's the front of the biomass burner. Uh, let's stick some wood in there. So a constructor needs... Ah, oh, I've almost got everything for this, I think. Oh no, reinforced plate and two cable. So the reinforced plate requires screws. Constructor. I think I need to be placing this over here somewhere. Uh, input and output... I guess, like, there? It's not a great place for it. I think I'm. I doubt I'm leaving enough space between these machines, but I don't know, so. 
What do I need in massive quantities? Oh, biomass would be quite useful. Let's get some power poles. So, let's see. One there. Uh, one here. Is that enough? Where do I connect this thing to? Because that just connected directly to the space in front of that for some reason. And now I don't know where to connect this to here. Is that now powered? Doesn't look powered. No, it's not powered. I don't see... Does that thing only have one connector? Is that the problem? How do I unconnect this? I'm completely stumped. I cannot find a place to freaking connect this. I can connect it to various power lines, but I can't actually connect the power lines to the bloody generator. There. Fucking finally. Jesus, I had to remove that that power line with like the, the destroyer thing with F. And then do it again. But that was ridiculous. There. Fucking finally. My god, that was frustrating. To be honest, I don't know what I need in high enough quantities to be worth faffing around with the constructor. It says build multiple. Uh, I also, it also said conveyor belts, didn't it? Oh no, conveyor belts for the next one, right. So I just need... I guess plates is what I need the most of. So stick all of the ingots in there. And now that's producing them. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go do the rounds, collect all the ores again. And now I can put in the biomass I made. So that should produce a lot more power or for longer. I don't know exactly which... How's the constructor getting on? 18 plates? That's not bad, that's not bad. I need 75, and I think I have the reinforced ones already. Can I put these in now? I can. I'm going to put a second smelter here. And this one is going to be for copper. So I don't need to keep swapping them. And another power line to there and connect that to that. I wonder if this game has a pollution mechanic like Factorio, because that was an interesting mechanic. Because in Factorio, as you produce more stuff, it ticks off the local aliens when the pollution reaches them. So it would be cool if this had something like that, maybe the grass goes brown or something. I don't know. I think, from what I can gather, the worlds in this aren't random and they aren't infinite. They are carefully designed so that you have everything you need in the right quantities, in the right places, etc. So what that does surely mean is that you can run out of leaves unless they regrow, uh, or maybe you have some way to farm them. But a limited world is, to be honest, it's a bit of a risky thing with a game like this. People like ones where they can grow and expand forever. Whereas if you have a limited world, you know, there is limited stuff you can get out of it, if that makes sense. Do I have enough now? Nope. Five short. Aha! And now I'm not five short. So, boom! Upgrade HUD, hub, sorry, again. HUD, hub, I keep thinking it's the HUD. It's the hub. Ooh! Congratulations. You have unlocked Thank you. A moose. So this uh, th this may look familiar, you know, the picture and unlicked objects. This game is by Coffee Stain Studios, whose most infamous previous work is Goat Simulator, aka how to do as little work as possible to earn as much money as possible. I really, really despise Goat Simulator, and uh, this is the developer that brought it. Oh, there's a toilet. This is the developer that brought it, so it looks like they are doing something that may have some value whatsoever. If I dismantle that, I will then replace it, what's it, smelter, that way round. Because if I'm having the constructors over here, I need the conveyors going out that side. Oh, it looks like I've got two more things. They're conveyors and conveyor pole, presumably for holding or lifting conveyors. Oh! Ah, I see. I think. Aha! Right, yeah, so the conveyors can't just, like, run along the ground. I'm with you. 
to be honest, I'm not sure this works in a 3D environment. With the amount of micromanaging that it looks like it's going to require, you really, I think, you need the uh, the bird's eye perspective to understand what the hell you're doing. So that's why Factorio works, because you have this such a wide view, you can see where the buses are going, and you can just zoom out at any time as well. So you can see where the buses are going, you can see where everything connects, uh, where the problem is, you can plan out intricate routes, and because it's all grid-based, you can um, make sure there is room for everything you need. Whereas here, if I realise, oh shit, this... Because it, it looks like the, the things you place are sort of grid-based as well. Hang on. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, that, that gets rid of that problem. I was going to say, it looks like these are grid-based as well. But it seems they're not. They are quite dynamic. Well, that does get rid of that problem. But uh, I still don't think I could get enough of a view... From, like, a brief look at the trailer, it seems there is some sort of jetpack. Sorry, I keep jumping because I'm barely pressing the spacebar. Uh, there is some sort of jetpack you get later on. But, I don't know, it just doesn't seem enough. It seems like you are still too close in. And it is an interesting idea doing a Factorio game as a first-person thing. And I suppose I never really had the problem visualising stuff with uh, Minecraft. But the difference is Minecraft is again grid based, it's blocks. Most blocks are one by one. You have very few that are huge. But when you've got it something like this, imagine if these stretched as far as the eye could see, you had no fucking idea what you're doing. I don't know, maybe that's addressed later on, maybe you get some sort of drone that would be a good addition actually yeah a drone that flies overhead to give you a bird's eye view of everything that would be a really good idea i don't know if that's in it i don't i don't i didn't research but yeah that's that's about my summary of it it's a very ambitious thing what's this glinting over here it's an ambitious thing i'm not sure if it's um i'm not sure if it's viable having a first person down to earth massive machine factory building game. I don't know. I could be wrong. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my first impressions. Let me know if you want to see more. To be honest, this hasn't enthralled me, but maybe I'll maybe I'll play some more and have a better idea, I don't know. So let me know if you want to see more and uh, I will catch you later.